Hey, hey, Flappers, welcome back. Flappy here. My very first DM session was probably one of the most stressful things I've ever done, but as I learned over time, it didn't have to be. As a new DM, there are some things you learn as you go on that help alleviate the stress and the nerves that come with the job. I'm gonna try and speed up that process a little for you. So let's dive in. First, let's address the elephant in the room. Deal with and understand your nerves. The first thing you really wanna understand about this is that you shouldn't hope that they'll go away. The nerves will not go away, or they shouldn't. And that's okay, nerves are a superpower and even the pros get nervous. Be grateful for the nerves because it means you care. It means you want to do a good job. And when those nerves go away, that's a bigger problem, I think. Understanding this means that you have more power in your hands over the feelings. Now, a second thing that I do to control these nerves and these feelings of stress is to have an NPC prepared with nervous energy. It's a really simple way to channel those nerves into a single character. And then you can give this peak performance and then your other NPCs will come across as less nervous as you go on too. Now you also want to make sure that you don't confuse nerves with stress. Things you can do to address the stress part of this job. Tell your players you'd like someone else to handle the back end stuff like scheduling, discord management, and note taking. The less you burden yourself as a DM, the more time you have to focus on world building and creating an immersive experience for your players. Okay, now that you have that under control, you want to understand your role as a DM. And your main goal as a DM is imagining a world that follows the rules of your setting, tone, and genre. And as long as you remind yourself of that, you will run your session just fine. You don't have to be as prepared as you think you do. Your players understand that you're doing a hard job and anything you make up on the spot it's probably going to be pretty satisfactory for your campaign. If your players are anything like my players, they're going to end up loving the things you made on the spot more than the things you prepared ahead of time anyway. Another thing to keep in mind is that you will run into that situation that every DM runs into when you can't find something you wrote down in your prep. When it happens, just be honest with your players. I can't find my notes right now. Please take detailed notes here because I'm going off the cuff. This is a reasonable thing to ask your players to do. And another reasonable thing to ask is for time to find your notes. Just say, hey, I lost my notes on this. Everyone take five to stretch while I look around. Another DM secret, you don't have to let people know when you found your notes. If if you A, don't find them, you don't have to let them know. If you B, have found them but would like a little bit of a breather, just pretend you're looking for your notes still. When you're ready, start the game back up. Your players are fine going to the snack table or taking a second to go to the bathroom or grab a snack from their own cupboard. I don't know what players do in their free time. <sighs> Now I'd like to move on to a really important point, which is don't let the rule book fool you. And what I mean by that is if you've seen the player's handbook, Tasha's Cauldron of Everything, Xanathar's Guide to Everything, the Monster Manual, the DM's Guide, the DM's Screen, Follow's Guide to Monsters, any of the modules, you'll know that they're pretty extensive. It makes the game a little bit less approachable. Even veterans deal with rule disputes from players all the time. You are allowed to make a ruling on the spot as a DM. My general rule when I make a snap judgment is to allow players to attempt anything, make them make the appropriate role, and I decide on a difficulty class, just like pretty much all of DMing. You don't have to have the whole dang thing memorized. You're fine. The important thing is if you made a ruling, you either correct it in your off time or play by the same rules later on. Before we get to the final point, I want you to take a deep breath, count to three, and like this video. <laughs> but really, if you like this video, it can get out to more eyes and help more people. It really helps this channel out a lot, so please just click the thumb down below. The last point I want to make is to value fun over all other things. My central tenet of D&D is fun. Fun before rules, fun before story, 
fun before anything. The incessant need to make this game fun is what drives us as DMs. It's the fear and superpower that makes us nervous every single time we play. If you never stop asking yourself whether or not your decisions have caused fun, you will be a great DM, I promise. One last thing you need to be prepared for your first session is to know what you should put behind the DM screen. I'm making a video about that right now and it'll go right here when I'm done. That's all for now you dweebs. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.